Uh, miigwech to be here. Thank you so much uh, for the introduction. Um, I'm from Toronto, not where the tar sands are, but it's all connected. Uh, we have Line 9 cutting through. So um, I want to say a couple of words, but as, as I say that, okay, we need some tape. Um, can I ask the volunteers who I were working with me on the Commons Charter project to come on up? and. Um, so we're going to have a, just like a participatory sort of reading. Um, I work with a group called Great Lakes Commons, which was formed about six years ago. We often find ourselves reacting to the structures, the values, uh, the political bodies that we didn't elect or we don't agree with. And so after many years, uh, we've been trying to figure out what is it we'd like to have in place to protect the Great Lakes forever. And um, we, many of our laws are political, and they're not, they don't really uh, honor the integrity of, of the watershed. And so the Great Lakes Commons Charter is a way to start thinking about water as a source of life, not just a resource, to think about how uh, the, all the things that we inherit and share and pass on are our ancestral responsibilities. And this idea of ownership is a, is a real foreign one, right? We, you, you don't really, these things are just passing through. And so the Commons Charter is a way to articulate that, and we're asking people to sort of step into the role to almost petition ourselves. Every week, if you're like me, I get asked to sign a petition, which I always do, to, to protect Mother Earth and to make, hold those accountable who need to be held accountable. But the Charter is a bit different. We're not petitioning governments uh, to, to enact their, the powers. We're actually petitioning ourselves to step into the role of a good ancestor and start thinking about what it means to, to belong to the Great Lakes. What does it think about to mean uh, how we are all treaty people? What are these rights, but also what are these responsibilities we have to protect uh, the water? And so the Commons Charter is, is an is a articulation uh, of that. And Oh, that's good. I was like, I can only remember five. And so the common strutter, you can see it on our website. If you didn't get one on the way in, there is a, a, a journey guide. We made these in, in May, and I encourage you to grab one. Great Lakes Commons has partnered with about 10 different people and projects to, because there is no one solution, no one voice that's going to uh, solve the problems of, of, of the waters and protecting the waters. However, I feel with the diversity uh, of the various journeys, some of which are here today, we do have a, a story, a narrative, uh, a way of belonging and, and relating to each other uh, as a way of being. And uh, I would there's a various voices in this journey guide uh, to connect those voices. And I would encourage you to please grab one on, on the way out. Uh, there's things here about the two Rawampum, uh, various other ceremonial journeys, um, a theater performance around the Great Lakes. So I'd encourage you to grab one of these. So I do want to hear from the other musicians and I want to hear about the other uh, journeys. But we're just going to hear a, a quick reading of, the, of what this j Commons Charter is. And I would love to say a huge miigwech to uh, people to my right who are going to help us with that. And so all they're going to do is read a section. It's going in and out. I know, I can hear that too. Uh, I'll try to be still, very still. We're going to pass the microphone down the line. And so is this going to work if there's no tape? This one here? I like things where you have to work together. Okay, that seems pretty stable. Um, so each of these people, lovely people up here, um, maybe we'll just do, we'll test the microphone, and we'll just maybe just say your first name and pass it down, and we'll pass it back up, we'll practice, and make sure you're in the order of one, two, three, of the top, perfect, you guys are so smart. Okay, <laughs> names maybe. Valerie Jean. Oh, whoa, whoa so sorry, Valor Valerie Jean. We're gonna, that's too close. I'm Ray Allard. Melissa. I'm Penny Cragen. Yona. And I'm Scott. I'm Bob Barker. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so the comments, I would just encourage you to, to think about, what you, again, what is it we do want? What are these sort of big ideas when we talk about protection of the Great Lakes? And I'm just going to encourage each person to, to read. Maybe I'll hold the microphone or you can... To read, to read your section of it, you know, uh, with your heart and to show, show everybody else uh, what's on the back of it, which is your word, your word that you feel uh, is the most essential part of, of that phrase. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so miigwech again for your... We, the people of the Great Lakes, 
love and depend upon our waters to sustain our lives, our communities, and all life in our ecosystem. It is therefore with growing alarm that we confront a painful reality, that despite decades of efforts, the, great la the lakes are more threatened than ever. As people from across the Great Lakes, we find this unacceptable. We cannot stand by while our waters are treated as expendable and exploitable resource when we know they are a source of life. Moved by a hope that we can yet create a thriving and life-sustaining future for our lakes, we, we step forward to take up our responsibility to care for and act on behalf of these waters, our Great Lakes Commons. Seeing that the health of our waters is intertwined with our own health and that of generations yet to come, we are called to assert a deeper connection and more powerful role in the future of our waters. We hereby set forth this Great Lakes Commons Charter, a living document that affirms and empowers the wisdom and rightful role of the people of the lakes as stewards of our water. This declaration and the first principles emerge from the collaborative work of people and communities around the lakes. Together we reflect many walks of life, histories, and cultures. At the same time, a single purpose unites us to transition to a, mode of, to a mode of Great Lakes governance by which the waters and all living beings can flourish. Towards this end, we affirm that the waters of the Great Lakes have sustained the lives of the people and communities in their basin since time immemorial, immemorial and they should continue to do so in perpetuity that the waters, ecosystems, and communities of the Great Lakes are intertwined and interdependent. Damage to any of these causes harm to the others. That the Great Lakes are a gift and a responsibility held in common by the peoples and communities of the lakes and must be treated as such to ensure their preservation for coming generations that the boundaries of states, provinces, and nations crisscross the lakes, but do not divide their natural integrity. All decision-making that impacts the Great Lakes must place the well-being of the bioregion and ecosystem as a whole at the center of consideration. That the inherent sovereignty and rights of indigenous people as codified in treaties and international agreements must be upheld as foundational to commons governance. Therefore, We join our voices in affirming the spirit and necessity of this declaration as the foundation of a renewed relationship and mode of governance for our Great Lakes Commons. We welcome the wisdom, standing, and power that this document will accrue over time to shape the future of our lakes. We invest it with our hopes and commitments to the future and to the future generations who will inherit the legacy of our actions. In signing this charter, we embrace our responsibility, individual and collective, to act on behalf of these waters and of our future generations. <laughs> 